Hello friends, in this video I wanted to update you guys about the new version of Valtrack V2 GPS tracker we designed. This version is called Valtrack version 2B uh, because this will not have an internal battery support and this uh, device is specifically made for vehicles. It can run up to 28 volts of input uh, because of this switching regulator used. This is a MP1584 uh, switching regulator. It can take uh, input up to 28 volts and uh, give the 4 volt needed for the GSM module and the other circuitry. And this will support all the features that are present on the Valtrack version 2 except the battery charging feature. And it will have the same 2G GSM module and the GPS module. And this GPS module is having about minus 165 dBm of sensitivity and it's uh, giving quite good results so far. The major change uh, you can observe on this board is that uh, is the addition of the switching regulator and we have changed the accelerometer part to a slightly bigger part compared to the wild track portion 2 this is also a free scale part but this part is also compatible with the uh, st microelectronics part so that's why i chose this accelerometer uh, this is the wild track portion 2 and as you can see the accelerometer in the wild track portion 2 is uh, much smaller compared to the wild track portion 2b uh, but this part was uh, you know very rare to get like it was very difficult to get these modules because there is some problem with the free scale made uh, nxp parts so after the merger between nxp and free scale i think the free scale parts are all being phased out so that's why the reason i changed the accelerometer part to a uh, different one and uh, this device is uh, pin compatible with the st micro electronics part called uh, lis 3d so this part is uh, available in uh, huge stock on mouser electronics so that's why i chose this and in addition this device will have uh, a reverse voltage uh, protection it's still not added on, on this version but i'm making one more board which will have the uh, short key diode added here which will uh, prevent the uh, damage to the board if the battery wires are connected in reverse so i am also giving this extra wire which will mate into this connector so you will get these two wires suppose if you want to remove the device from the vehicle then you can just remove this connector and take the device out and this uh, wire will remain connected to the battery and you can just uh, bring it back and plug it in whenever if you want to do any changes or anything like that and the sos button is only used for entering the bluetooth configuration mode or as opposed to the sos mode which was present on the voltac version 2 so uh, there is not much need of that uh, switch uh, uh, as it was present on the Valtrack version 2 so this switch uh, will only be used for Bluetooth entering the Bluetooth configuration on this Valtrack version 2 board. and uh, uh, I found this nice UFL connector this connector support was already present on the Valtrack version 2B uh, but uh, I was always using the wi wired connector because there was no small antenna available for use this with this device which could fit inside this box but this uh, antenna is quite good it can be folded and put inside the box easily and it's giving quite good results so everything remains the same uh, and uh, it can be configured into the three modes as usual and uh, it can be configured into sms tracking mode and wherein you can send an sms and uh, uh, the device will reply back with the location in 120 seconds and uh, the, there will be the motion alert feature wherein the uh, device will alert you in case if there is any movement detected by sms or call all these configurations can be set using the bluetooth app present on the android play store and the other mode is the MQTT uh, over TCP. And this is the fastest mode available wherein the device will send uh, MQTT packets over the TCP connection to a server. And uh, I had demonstrated this in the previous video on the Valtrack version 2. So everything remains the same in case of the firmware. Like uh, even the pins from the controller are all uh, remaining the same uh, except that the power section has changed and the accelerometer has changed. And this accelerometer I have used, the software also remains same for them. Even they support the same I2C addresses also. And then the next one is the HTTP mode wherein the device sends HTTP packets to a uh, server or a REST API endpoint using uh, JSON format. So all the fields or the parameters can be are packed into a JSON packet and uh, sent to the server uh, by HTTP POST request. HTTP POST is the one which consumes more power as well as more data. I don't know why the TCP consumes less power but MQTT over TCP consumes about 10 to 20 milliamps uh, when, it's, when the connection is active and uh, momentarily it goes up to 50 to 60 milliamps whenever the uh, data packet is sent over the TCP connection. Otherwise the current remains at about 10 to 12 milliamps. And HTTP mode, uh, uh, the current uh, is goes up to 80 to 90 milliamps. So uh, maybe the data that is being sent over the HTTP is quite more compared to the TCP. That's why it, it might be one of the reasons. 
Among these modes, the SMS tracking it has the best uh, standby current possible with the uh, GSM still awake. Uh, I had tested it with uh, 400 mAh battery and it uh, was able to sustain for about more than 48 hours. And uh, in SMS tracking what it does is it uh, waits for an SMS command and the GSM module is awake at the time it is in the sleep mode and the GPS is turned off so SMS command comes in the GSM module receives it and the controller uh, wakes up the GPS module to uh, collect the GPS location and once the GPS fix is acquired it normally takes about uh, 40 to 50 seconds to get the GPS fix if you are outdoors and uh, it replies back within 120 seconds. If the GPS fix is not able to achieve within 120 seconds then it sends back the last known location to the user and we are also working on adding the security like uh, you can change the sms command that is being sent and you can configure like which only which number will be responded to by the sms and uh, i made this for users with simple needs like um, you just need to connect it to the vehicle and start tracking and uh, you can get moment alerts uh, for theft protection so suppose if someone touches your bike and you want to get some moment alerts like uh, it, it can send an sms saying that someone is moving your bike or it can call you indicating that uh, there is movement detected sending and uh, giving a call is uh, much less expensive compared to uh, sending an sms because uh, you, you can always disconnect the call and you will not be charged for moment alerts I have already shipped this device to different countries, uh, to USA, UK, Slovenia, Germany, Italy and UAE and I have shipped many devices within India. Uh, the response has been quite good so far and uh, most of the companies that are uh, using this device uh, want to use this as OEM and they want to sell them with their own branding. And the good thing about this device is that it is it costs very less, it is uh, only about 2500 INR is equal to 40 US dollars. And uh, one more good thing about the shipping is that I can ship this device for only about 1500 INR or 25 USD. So 40 USD for the device and uh, uh, 25 USD for shipping. So if you want this device, uh, drop me a mail to ravi at the rate violetron.com and uh, I will send you an invoice uh, and you can uh, make the payment uh, by bank transfer if you are within India and you can make PayPal payment uh, if you are outside India. And I will be shipping the devices in this box. So. You can put the box like this. I designed the whole uh, World Track series GPS trackers based on this box, and it can be packed. And the wires will come out like this, and you can connect the other wire to your battery, plus and minus red to positive, black to negative and uh, you can take the device and connect it to it. So it only goes in one direction and it's quite tight. So this is how your bike tracker looks. So put it in your vehicle and you can track live location using SMS, GPRS or MQTT or HTTP. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe.